Good evening. It was a case that was supposed to last 10 weeks, but it dragged on for 12. It was snowing when the Manganos first arrived last March. That has given way to summer heat and storms, and it was a stormy, volatile jury room, we're told, that led a judge a short time ago to declare a mistrial. Edward Mangano and wife Linda tense and tearful in the courtroom when the judge told them that after nine days the jury failed to come to a consensus on their innocence or guilt and they would be retried for their alleged crimes. She for lying to the FBI about a no-show job, the former county executive for federal bribery, wire fraud and extortion. I said before um, this is so difficult to go through with your family um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody. I feel so blessed to have so many people who stood by our side and supported us. It's been a week of whirlwinds. One juror replaced another who was dismissed for illness. She told the judge there was cursing and name calling in the jury room. It is, you know, truly a sentence in and of itself, uh, a trial. It is emotionally draining. It is physically hurtful. I don't know how to describe it other than it's something that I don't wish uh, on anyone that doesn't deserve it. However, the seven women and five men were united in one pronouncement, acquitting co-defendant John Venditto, the former Oyster Bay Town supervisor, of all 27 charges against him. It was heated, intelligent discussions, no more than I would expect from uh, from any other jury anywhere. Was it close? No, it was. What, what did it come no down comment, to? No comment, no comment. How close was it? Too close. No comment. To me, they were best friends of 30 years. And if I'm friends with somebody for 30 years and, my, and I'm rich and I want to give my, my friend a present, to me it's just a gift. The latest jury note this afternoon was not shared in open court, but we learned it was from the foreman who said he was a not guilty vote, but that other jurors were, quote, not following the rules. The Manganos are due to return here June 28th to set a new trial date. We're live tonight. Central Islip, Federal Court, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jen, thank you.